Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John and Maxfield, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Friday, the 22nd of May. It's 52 here in the square in St. John, and uh, we have scheduled 5% chance of showers with a high temperature of 55, but looking at the weather radar, it looks to me like we've already had the rain that we're going to have at least for several hours as the storm heads off toward Hutchinson and Wichita. Then uh, tomorrow, thunderstorms, and 65 is the high with an 80% chance of rain. And so this is a particularly tough day for the parade and the other events of the Jubilee here in St. John for Saturday. Then on Sunday, cloudy and 75 with a slight chance of rain. And then back on Monday, there's uh, thunderstorms in the area and 40% uh, chance of rain, 78 the high temperature. Then Tuesday and Wednesday are, are more normal, uh, partly cloudy both days, 80 on Tuesday and 83 on Wednesday. On Tuesday there's a 30% chance of, of a shower. So. It looks like we probably had the rain, at least for today, until later. And uh, tomorrow looks like it's going to be a tough day for rain on the Jubilee crowd there, here in the square. And uh, then uh, Monday, a little bit of a chance for more rain, which I hope is not in the morning, but that's when it's predicted. Uh, anyway, so we go on, and we have... Uh, Lots of birthdays. We have <clears throat> today, happy birthday to Nita Keenan and Gladys Garcia. And on Saturday, a special birthday to Jim Hood of the Science Technatorium fame. He's going to be 93 tomorrow, Saturday. And it's not anybody who on their 93rd birthday has a parade. And they're, they're having the Jubilee Parade, and so I hope they, they honor Jim with the parade. Happy birthday, Jim Boyd. Well, there are a lot of things that are going to uh, be closed. And uh, the St. John National Bank and the American State Bank will be closed Saturday and Monday. They'll be open normal hours today. <clears throat> so if you need banking before Tuesday, you better go in this afternoon. And uh, the Shepherd Center is closed from uh, Friday noon until uh, Tuesday in the morning. And so we'll have no news on uh, Monday. And uh, but I'm sure there are other things that, that will be closed as, as well. Well, looking at some of the events uh, on the Jubilee coming up uh, tonight, uh, they start at 5 to 7, and uh, Hood's Technatorium is scheduled to be open, and I wonder if that's where Jim Hood is right now. And, uh, but from 6.15 to 7.30 is the barbecue supper in the park. And they say bring a chair or a blanket, and I hope it's not raining so they can have that. That's always a fun thing, and you get to meet a lot of friends and people that have come home. Well, also, uh, skipping down, there's uh, at 6 to, to, to 12 o'clock midnight is the carnival which will be in town. And uh, that's another event that might have trouble if it rains. Uh, so, uh, the Jubilee uh, has runs and walks, and you can register at 7 o'clock to run in those races. And uh, that can be for tomorrow. 
Uh, let's see, uh, there's a skydiver tomorrow, and uh, you can go and have somebody jump with you uh, and hang on, and you can have the experience of skydiving. Uh, quite frankly, I think I would rather fly the plane than jump out of it, but uh, yeah, it's up to everybody. Then uh, a big thing on uh, the Jubilees are the free breakfast at the IOF Lodge here at the Shell Center in town, and that's from 7 in the morning until 10, and that's always fun to go to that. And usually they have uh, either the, the cheerleaders or some gr group of young ladies raising money as tips uh, for the breakfast, so it's a good place to contribute to a good cause. Then the the races that the Recreation Commission has is from 8 o'clock till 10, and we'll just skip on down. There's an information booth where you can get a free drawing ticket, or and also buy a Jubilee button or two for the special drawing, and that's open from 9 until 4.30. The carnival is from 10 until 5.00. Uh, the parade is at 1.30, and uh, there's the prize drawings is the other main event, and that starts at 10 minutes after 4. So there's plenty of things to do uh, at the Jubilee. And also mention that Monday, generally at 10 o'clock at the cemetery, uh, there is the Veterans uh, Memorial Service. Well, looking ahead at the Rec Commission, uh, last trip of the month is going to the Kansas Star Casino on the 28th, which is a Thursday, the last day of the month, and they leave at 8 in the morning, and they're back at 4, and all trips are subject to the weather. And then finally we have our important uh, menus for the fellowship meals of the senior citizens. And over at the VIP Center in uh, Maxville, they're having barbecued uh, beef today. Uh, they're closed on Monday. They're having sloppy joes on Tuesday and sweet and sour chicken on Wednesday. While here, the sunflowers at their fellowship meal are having beef stew today. Uh, and if they're open, it would be paprika, chicken, and potato salad on Monday. Goulash on uh, Tuesday and quiche on uh, Wednesday. Well, that's all the news and announcements for you. We we'll try to stay dry here over this Jubilee weekend. And the word of the day is this. It's a sure fire method for making a great speech. First, you have a good beginning, and then a really great ending, and the key thing is to keep them as close together as possible. This is Jim Blakey, hoping you have a dry weekend.